Yeah. Good everyone. My name is Graphics. If you look at the top right corner of the screen, we are told to invert the figure in the ratio of 1 is to 2 and our dimension will be in millimeter. Now first of all, the figure that is displayed there, we need to invert it. Then we need to turn it upside down, right? So the top will become the bottom and the bottom will become the top. So let us first of all draw out the figure, right? So now the person I'm going to do first of all is to draw an horizontal line this way, right? Pick a point here and then I'm going to just draw this way. So it's meeting here. So this point here will be my reference point. Then I'm going to measure 22.5. So so the 22.5 will be at uh, this point here. So if I measure to this point here, this is 22.5 here, right? Now I'm going to thicken it from here to this point. That is the 22.5. And the height as shown in the diagram there is 60. Don't forget we are inverting it. So I'm going to measure 60 from here to this point here is 60. And I am going to thicken it. Right? Now the height at this point it is inclined at an angle which we don't know. But I'll first of all draw the base here, which is 15. We look at it closely. So I'm going to measure 15 by using this diagram here. And I'll measure 15. So this is 15 from here to here. It's giving us 15. And I should be able to take in it. Right? And I will bring it down a little bit with my faint line. And the length there is giving us 28. So we are told to invert it. So that's why I'm inverting it. I'm drawing it upside down. This is 28 here. This is 10, 20, and 28. This is where it stops. And I'm going to take in it from this point to this point. Sorry. To this point here. Right? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is that we are told this is inclined at an angle of what? 45 degree. So I'll just draw a faint line this way. Right? And I'll take my set square, 45 degree set square, and I'll place it in this direction. You can see that. So when it's coming in this direction here, this is giving us what? 45 degree. Faint line. Right? Now when I do that, um, when I do that, I will now measure the length of what? Of 25. I'll measure the length of what? 25 on this inclined line. Those are shown in diagram here. So from this point, I'll measure the length of 25, and this is 25 here, and I'll mark it here. So it means that from here to here, it's giving us 25, right? This is the 25 here. You can see that? And now those join the two ends together from here to here. This is what we have. In the top right corner but in this case we have what inverted it is that again now we are two to what to draw it in a ratio of what one is to two so we are reducing it it's called what reduction so what i'm going to do here i might decide to pick this point here right or let me say somewhere around here then i will draw a radial line that will pass through each and every point there. 
So the first point will be this, which is this. I'm going to draw a line that will pass through here. You can see that. And I will draw another line that will pass through each point. So the next one will be, I will elongate this to the ending here. I will elongate this to the ending, to this point, and this one also to this point. That is where I will draw my line to go through. From here, I will draw another one that will pass through here. I will draw another one that will pass through here. And this that is here going straight ahead. So this is what we have. Now, what I'll do here again is that I'm going to extend this downward a little bit. So where they're meeting, we're viewing it from point P here. So let's just take this up a little bit. Okay, this is better. So where they're meeting here, I'm going to take my compass. I'll bring out but down each of these points. So this method is called the radial method. So I'll bring this point down. So each and every of those points. Let me see here should be from here. I'll take you to this point here, right? And I'll call it point P. I'll move it here. So this is P here, right? Then the next point I'll call here to be point Q, right? I'll take you to point Q. Then take it here. Then I'll take it to point R. Take it here. So this is point R here. Right? So this is P. This will be P prime. This will be Q prime. This will be R prime. So let's do it that way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce all this line to go through each of those points. So the first one, P, we go through P prime. The next one here, we go through K prime. The next one we go through yes now i've edited this line there now we are told we should draw it in a ratio of what of um ratio of one is to two right so what i would just simply do here we assume this is my ratio two right so i'll just draw any inclined line any inclined line from this point any one from point p and i'm going to divide it so if i come here i'll be having let me see this is one this is two this is three this is four right and this is five so this is zero one two three four five now from this point here i'll take it to two you can see that i'm going to take it to where to two i'll start moving it downward with the help of my um, set square I'll just place it close to it here then I'll move to the next one so this is ratio what? ratio 1 I'll stop here so as we are told to move to the next ratio this is 3 
if I want to, and this is four. But since we are told to move to ratio two is to one, I mean one is to two, right? That is reduction we are reducing. So what I will do here, this is where I actually need here. So we are reducing them. So I will now come down to the ratio of one here. Then I will take it up from this point. I'm going to take it up to touch here. You can see that. Now the next one is I will extend this downward this way. So if this is P prime, this will be P prime prime. This will be Q prime prime. This will be R prime prime. Now I can take it from this point here to P prime prime here. As you can see. Then I'll just move it to this point. Sorry. There's the first one. Then I'll take it from the same P prime prime. First of all, let me first of all do this. So if I have this my P prime here, then this will be what? My P prime prime here too. Right? And what will I do? I'll just take my faint line and I'll take it up. Get my faint line. I'll take it up this way. You can see that? So this point here, where it meets here, I'm going to extend it out. So if I extend it out from here to this point, right? So I'm going to extend here out to this point. So this one will touch here. I'll take in this. And I'll bring this downward to touch here. You can see that. Now the next one is this. So I go to the next one P prime prime. That is Q prime prime here. I'm going to draw my arc again. That will be my other Q prime prime here. I draw this arc to get the Q prime prime. And from here to here is thickened. So I'll take it from here to Q prime prime here. This is what we have there. Now the next one is this. So if I trace it, that's arrow prime prime. So I'll take my um sorry from here to this point. You know, I draw my arc this way. So I'll take it up from that point like this so since i've taken it up right so where this line meets here i will extend it to this point just like this one is extended i will extend it here to this point straight down to this point here so this is where they meet so i'll now use my meter rule I will close it up right and I will close it up so this is what we have so what we just did here we just reduced the scale now to confirm if we have done the right thing hmm? If I measure from here to here, automatically, this must be half of it, right? So let's measure and see. So if I place it here to this point, this is 0 to 6, and that's a 60. That means automatically, if it's half of the distance reducing, 1 is to 2 means half of what we have reducing. Then this will be what? 
half of it and that is what 30 you can see half of this is this 30 so if this is a um, 28 we are saying that from here to here is 28 let's measure it and see so this is somewhere like 28 right i'm not mistaken so here from here to here ought to be 14 just like what you can see here right so if you look closely is 0 this 10 this is 14 here so that is just reducing right this is what we call reduction so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching